Good morning, I'm Patrick Chambers and this is my first chat from the chair. I'm probably the least experienced chairman in the National League South. I'm chairman of Hungerford Town and the very first non-league game I ever went to was at Bullpit Lane and that was just in April last year. Yep, April 2019. A few days later I became the chairman after answering a call for help, but that's a chat for another day. So what a season, what I learnt on the job. Obviously the season ended abruptly with COVID-19 and Saturday, March the 14th, 2020 was the last day we had any income. Here we are today on September the 4th, just a month away from the season starting proper. We're a small club, and when I say small, we're the smallest by population, we're the smallest by average crowd in the National League South at, I think, 336, and we've always historically had the smallest budget. But let me put that into, pros into uh, context. So last season, we set a budget for players, coaches and manager of 166,000 which we couldn't afford. In February, we hit the wall. We couldn't afford to pay the players. And that wasn't the first time it happened. It happened in previous seasons. Our manager resigned at the end of that season. So I had to start the search for my first appointment as chairman. And we've appointed Danny Robinson, who at 36 is probably, but we'll have to fact check it, the youngest manager in the National League South. But don't let that fool you. He's been a manager for 14 years and he's been very successful, gaining promotions and winning the FA Vars at Wembley with Thatcham just a couple of years ago. But we had to find a way to compete at this level and within our budget. Bear in mind, we also face the uncertainty of what the pandemic will leave behind, less sponsorship, less donations, crowd caps. So we've set a budget for this coming season of less than £100,000. Now, recently, the National League got a committee together to explore putting in a wage cap. The wage cap they were exploring was £600,000 or maybe £500,000. Well, obviously we didn't need to get involved in that debate. But interestingly, it got booted out. So possibly we play teams that spend in excess of £600,000. Indeed, I do know of players that have earned over £1,000 per week at this level, at step two in the National League South. That would be over half of our player wages just on one player. So I want people to listen to our story, watch our journey as we try and compete. For three seasons, we've been in a relegation battle. Twice, we avoided it on the very last match of the season. And of course, on March the 14th, the season came to an abrupt end when a lot of people will think Hungerford Town were given a get out of jail free card as we were bottom of the league at that point. So you could say we've got a free hit. We've got a talented manager with some very, very good coaches in his back room staff, a committed physio, and assembled a group of players that have come to test themselves at this level for various reasons. None of them are here for the money. Some are older, mature players who have got to this level and want to stay there. Youngsters, that have done really well at lower levels that want to test themselves. And of course, those that hold on to the dream of either getting back into the professional ranks or getting there. So watch this journey. You'll have some fun. If there's any production companies out there that would like to do a little fly on the wall, you'd have a lot of fun. We couldn't afford to pay you, but I think it would make for really interesting viewing. So when you can, when fans are allowed, come down to Bull Pit Lane and come and watch the ride. Bye for now.